This video introduces the new IFC property mapping preset of ARCHICAD. This new feature enables you to define how to handle the properties of IFC elements imported to ARCHICAD. Open the IFC Translators dialog from the File menu. Select any of the translators on the left. On the right, under the Settings, you can find the new Property Mapping Conversion preset for IFC Import Translators. By clicking the pop-up of the Property Mapping, we can choose from the predefined Available Presets. To edit the existing presets or create new ones, the same way as for the other presets, select the last line in the list or click the three-dot button next to the pop-up. On the top of the dialog is a list of available presets. Here you can create a new one, rename or delete presets, and also import or export the selected preset. We can find two options under the Import Properties of IFC Elements As field on the Settings page. The IFC Properties is the default option. If we choose this, we can import all the data unchanged with all element properties by generating new IFC property data. In case this option is selected, the mapping table will be inactive and grayed out. Selecting the ARCHICAD Properties radio button activates the mapping table. Here you can choose which IFC data to import and define which IFC property values to map to which existing ARCHICAD property. IFC properties which are not listed in this mapping table are ignored during import. Each row represents a mapping rule. A rule can be defined by giving five data, such as IFC property, IFC property set, IFC value type, IFC property type, and ARCHICAD property. You can sort the content of the table by clicking the column headers. In the first column of the table, a warning yellow triangle icon appears when, for example, incompatible data types or unspecified data fields are given. We also get a warning text about the problem under the list controls. With the new, duplicate, and delete buttons under the mapping table, we can create, duplicate, or delete mapping rules. With the merge from IFC, we can import IFC properties from a selected IFC file. The new mapping rules will be added to the existing list with warning signs, and they will get unspecified entries in the ARCHICAD property column. To select the ARCHICAD properties, we use the hierarchic pop-up control the same way as in the Find and Select. Note, each ARCHICAD property has a default value. For elements imported from IFC, this mapping table lets you change their ARCHICAD property value from default to a custom value, based on the applicable IFC data, if available. During property mapping, for example, in case of the difference in the data structure, when data are missing on the IFC side, undefined values will be assigned to the property on the ARCHICAD side. The structural function, position, and renovation status ARCHICAD categories always use the corresponding data from imported elements. These IFC values are filled in automatically without reference to IFC translator settings. However, it is also possible to map these data manually in the mapping table to any ARCHICAD property. The Replace Missing Renovation Status With pop-up from the Settings page of the Translator dialog has been moved to this preset. Use this for imported elements that do not have an assigned renovation status in IFC. When importing an IFC file into ARCHICAD, the information associated with the model elements will not be lost. ARCHICAD's powerful tools and features such as Graphic Override, Collision Detection, Find and Select, and Expressions will work on imported IFC elements too, the same way as with native ARCHICAD elements.